So I'm installing lights on my Raptor, and uh, I got some weather pack connectors because they make uh, adding and removing accessories really easy because you don't have to rewire each time. In fact, all you have to do is once you get the connectors done is you just plug them in, and then whenever you decide you want to switch out accessories, you disconnect it, and then you can put a weather pack connector on the new accessories, plug it in, and you're good to go. Um, however, uh, as usual, there's uh, lots of stuff online, but none of it actually any good for how learning how to do it. Um, and so I figured I'd make a video to explain how these work better. So, uh, to that end, I am going to uh, show how to put together a, f a male end of a weather pack connector. The female end is the same thing, only in reverse with the other parts. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward. So right now, I've got my wire stripped back and I put my gasket on it. In this case, I've got two wires because they're going to two different lights and they're gonna. I just wanted to turn on with the same switch. So I've got uh, the wire stripped and, and tangled together, and then I've got the gasket on the end. And I'm gonna get my male connector and I'm gonna slide it over there and then I'm gonna uh, crimp it down. So on top, you have the male connector. On the bottom, you have the female connector. Both of them, you'll notice, have a big tab back here. That's for the gasket, and then the two tabs right there, and that's going to be to crimp down on the wire. And then you don't want to go any further past, and you do not want to crimp these little uh, fish hooks, I'll call them, um, because that's actually what kind of locks them into the weather pack connector, and uh, they will actually, you'll see that this part right here will come into the female end about that deep. Okay, so here's the male end done. You can see I have tapped down the grommet, uh, gasket, whatever you want to call it, and then right before, it, the, the tabs right after that, I have locked those down to hold the wire in place. Um, they will try to sell you a tool that costs either 100 or $300, I don't remember, but way too much money, uh, to do both at the same time, and they will warn you that this gasket will break if you put down too much pressure and don't use their tool. Uh, quite frankly, neither of those are true. I used needle nose, and it worked really well. Um, and I've cracked down on these a couple times pretty hard, and they do not seem to break. Um, so that is the connecting piece done. Female it works the same way, it just looks different up there. And then all you got to do is just plug them into the re receptive uh, male or female housing. I'll try to do that right here without shaking the camera too much, provided I can find uh, one. All right, so here it is. You'll have to uh, take these tabs loose and then it will go in through the back and all you gotta do is just slide it in. So in this case, it will go in like that and then you lock this tab down and that will hold it in place and that is that. Product, here's my male end, here's my female end. I am just going to make sure the connectors line up and plug it in, which is a lot easier to do when you're not holding a phone in your hand. Eh, anyway, that matched up, so that's that.